Right now, America's watching that tragic aftermath from the Florida's building collapse. So the latest updates will give you those numbers one more time, where 18 people have died, 145 remain unaccounted for. An inspection report dated back to 2018 showed signs of flooding, cracking, and corrosion in that building. Seeing the destruction, some worry, could something like this happen to buildings here in Utah? To join me now to explain how Salt Lake City inspects its buildings is Orion Goff, the Deputy Director of Communities and Neighborhoods for Salt Lake City. Orion, thank you for being with us here today. So, how does places like Salt Lake City inspect its building for condos or apartments like the one we saw there in Miami? Well, we have a very orderly process here in Utah for building construction. And uh, it starts out with, <coughs> excuse me, it starts out with, uh, plan submitted to the city for uh, any building that's going to be built in Salt Lake City. And those plans must be in compliance with the codes that are adopted here in Utah. And we have an advantage here in Utah that the codes are adopted statewide. So we have pretty good consistency across cities as far as what's enforced. Um, the codes that are adopted are the international building codes. They have a family of codes. Uh, in that family of codes, they have uh, <coughs> codes for building, uh, plumbing, electrical, So you feel pretty uh, confident that the, the standard we have in Utah is pretty good when the building is built? Yes, it is. What happens after the building is done, like after it's finished? Yeah, very good point. Um, owners really have the responsibility to maintain their buildings. And uh, a lot of, uh, most building owners who have large buildings like, uh, you know, high-rise buildings that would have uh, residential units and are very conscientious about uh, maintaining their buildings, they most always have a uh, professional building manager employed and that person would have responsibility to make sure that the building is in good condition uh, both for life safety and for structural issues. So not only the owner kind of keeping an eye on it, as you're saying they're hiring a professional to keep a watch on it, is there any situation where an inspector from the city would go back and look at that building again? There is. That doesn't happen very often, but it, if someone was to call the city <clears throat> and complain that they've observed some kind of an issue, like a big crack in their wall mm -hmm. or water leaking, um, the, the, most cities in Salt Lake City included have a person who's employed as what would be referred to as the building official. And that person is appointed by the mayor. And uh, I served in that role for about the last uh, 17 years in Salt Lake City and then previous to that in another city. And the ordinance in every jurisdiction uh, charges that individual with uh, assuring that life safety is achieved. Um, uh, but that person, of course, doesn't have enough staff to look at every building in the city every year. So we have to trust that building owners will be conscientious about that. So it's a relationship of trust, so to speak, from the owners who started who built the building and people relying, you're relying on them as well to be able to keep an eye out in case they see anything that's out of place. Yeah, yeah, if you see something that's suspicious in the building that you're living in and sleeping in, mm -hmm. say something. Say something to the building owner. If they don't take care of it, then say something higher up. Um, and how do they say that? Where do they go? <clears throat> they, they would call the city. Uh, if they see a life safety issue and it doesn't seem like a building owner's taking care of that, they can call the city uh, or they can go online. Uh, we have several ways to, uh, input that information to the building official. It's fairly rare, but it happens once in a while. In Utah, we've got a lot of old parking structures um, that were built, you know, prior to 1970 when the new... Uh, uh, codes. And yeah, when the new codes and also the ordinances that require buildings to be built to a certain standard because of the seismic area. And so some of those uh, structures uh, have shown signs of failing and have had to come down and be replaced. So you have some, uh, some of those have already happened. Yeah. That's good to know. And of course, if you want to be able to reach out to the city, if you see something that is uh, concerning to you, there's the link to the city's website. Of course, we'll have that on our website, abc4.com slash GMU. Talking this morning here with Orion Goff, the Deputy Director of Communities and Neighborhoods for Salt Lake City. Thanks for your time here this morning. You're welcome. Have a great day. You too.